So I thought to myself, I'm a little Max Payne'd out. I don't really want to play... I actually do really want to play Wing Commander. I just don't want to do it, like, right now. That's a, that's a goose that I'm fattening up for later. Um, and I thought, I don't really want to start Silent Hill 4 until I've had a chance to play 3, which I'm not going to be able to do till January. And I was like, there's a new Star Wars coming out, man. Let's play Star Wars. So that's what I'm going to do. And like, yesterday when my brother was playing Journeyman Project, it was really cool to see him uh, rocking and rolling with the thing that got him into gaming in the first place. And this game didn't exactly get me into gaming, but it's one of the things that got me... It's one of the things that got me f uh, from a uh, person who would play a video game every now and again to somebody who really appreciated video games as a medium. So, kind of the same kind of thing. My, it's interesting that... Uh, it's interesting to realize that my brother uh, I was trying to think of something to play alongside his journeyman project stream that was uh, kinda of from the same time period that that I used to play and I really couldn't think of anything <clears throat> and I, I really racked my brain trying to figure it out and I couldn't think of anything and eventually I just had to accept and realize that my brother really and truly and much to his credit got into gaming before I did his his journey as a gamer started around 1996 and mine started a bit later. It started around 2001 with uh, with Max Payne and then later this. So that's cool. Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thack? I am no spy. Maybe so, but this door is locked. And it's going to stay that way until I'm satisfied you're no threat to Gadon or the Hidden Backs. Yeah, I need Gadon's help, and I was told to speak to him. A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Backs' open door policy are gone. Between the Sith Conquest and the Valkyrie Gang War, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. Yes, perhaps I could be an ally against those enemies. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you can do anything to harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. So you want me in? Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The hidden backs are watching you. Okay. I understand you gotta provide security to your people. That's I. I can respect that. Where's Gadden? Where is he? Where's he hiding? Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Bresrick and his Vulkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on site, Zerdra? Like the Vulkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now 
I'll step aside and let them pass. As you wish. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker's spy. Gadden, you're a good guy, but you're an idiot. A suit, if I could have been as an operative from the Valkyrs to walk up to you like this with a bomb strapped to me and you'd be dead. Your, your agent is quite right and you're a moron. Sorry. You'll have to forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brezhik and the Valkyrs began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. And the problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? You have problems with the Sith? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in down here, all the swoop gangs would unite against them. We'd use hit-and-run guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd, they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. But so far, the Sith have stayed out of the lower city. And our strength is wasted on this stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. I need information on those Republic escape pods that crashed in the Undercity. Escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the Upper City about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. Not necessarily! They can still get suspicious- Oh, Gadden. Oh, Gadden, you're an idiot. Don't worry, I'm not working for the Sith, and you're gonna totally believe that because you're Captain Trusting. I suppose I could tell you what I think. <laughs> it's not like you could do any harm to me or my gang. <laughs> but it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcans stripped those pods clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcans found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. We Bex don't believe in intergalactic slavery, but the Vulcans aren't so picky. They took a prisoner. Bastila's a slave? What'll happen to her now? Uh, yeah, eh, I'm gonna go with that one. Normally, the Vulcans would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find it. There has to be some way... I hate the swoop race. There has to be some way I can help. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season Oh, you're listening. Hello, race. brother. All right. Gadden, can you help me with this? I might be able to help you with this. If you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here. And much to lose. What are you proposing? The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Bex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have to do something for me. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulcans stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. How am I supposed to get into their base? Getting into the Volker base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veil. Mission 
Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Missions explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcar base, it's her. <laughs> Isn't there someone else who can help me? I already met Mission. Don't underestimate Mission or her Wookiee friend Zalbar. They're a formidable pair. Tough enough to go exploring the Undercity by themselves. Your best bet is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. Uh, yeah, I've got some Sith uniforms. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard. But the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Yeah, I'll trade the uniforms for the papers just because I want to. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? No, I'll be back with the accelerator. I you hurry. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice before the race. Oh, God, I hate the swoop race. But, you know. Racing games were a big part of Star Wars games at this time. They should still be today, but for some reason they're not. But uh, I understand that they wanted their audience to have a chance to to do that, so... It's fine. I just hate racing games. Like, I hate racing... Not a big fan... There's some genres that are, I'm not a big fan of. Racing games, fighting games... No, don't turn on solo mode. What was my mission again? Oh. Some loot. All right, good. Got a med pack. That's good. Let's save this. Didn't give us much. Good. They're good. 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 The med packs are a plentiful. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Ah, so you want to play this the hard way. <laughs> okay. Tony Pudu, Rana no Prata, don't know, Sarcha, it's you a penki. What are the Wama Mulira? Kenjun to Pashak, no Bully Mulira, Johnny Tun, Turji, Chiwi, Itato. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Cadres. I better get this over to Davik. 
I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. All right, save there. What's up, Candorius? Vulcans are dumber than a chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Damn. Gordon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. Damn, talking shit. Who are you? I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. Hey. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Hey, don't talk like that, you... on a special assignment. Fucking talk to me like that. If I see you again, I'll, 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 I'll kill you, motherfucker. Fucking kill you. <laughs> Here's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just that's the plan. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Actually, I think I was supposed to stay in there. Oh, you're breaking my heart. You're breaking my heart, Kelly. You're breaking my heart. Hmm. Why is he?
All right, so brother, um, you couldn't see any of that, but what I just did was level up my character and gave him some new feats. I've equipped, uh, I'm fighting with two swords now, which is something that I don't usually do, but uh, it's uh, armor reinforcement. Ooh, I got a, uh, I got a um, modification to my to my deal. All right, I actually am feeling pretty good about my my little outfit right now. This is tight. Let me just uh, okay, so that's long sword. All right, long sword, short sword combo. Now, how do I integrate? Oh, I probably have to use a like a workstation or whatever. Okay, I'm a reinforcement. All right, all right, we'll do that when we get to the the wake bench. That'll ah a frag mine. All right, you know what? I don't. Let me see here. Hey, hey, Karth. Uh huh. Go disarm that frag mine. Or work around it, that's good. Ooh, an advanced med pack. Yes. Ow. Uh -huh. Alright, well, it didn't kill us, so what doesn't kill you gives you loot. Open that locker. Oh, we already did. Okay. Okay. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm doing a lot more damage now than I was. Which makes sense, because I'm using two swords. Cryoban grenade, alright, cool. And more med packs. Yay, here, take a med pack, Karth. Take an advanced med pack. You, you've earned it. Sure. And we're gonna save right there. right there or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes now what are you doing here no I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you I get to ask the questions what are you doing here well go explore somewhere else there's nothing interesting for you here this is your only warning if you bother me again you won't walk out of here alive I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone, but I guess you're just too stupid to take it. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris. Gonna be tough, but I think we're gonna do it. We 
did it. Got pretty well hurt, but yeah, yeah, that's right, punk. Let's see what she had on her. A scope, an amplifier, and a neural band. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm gonna take a med pack. I'm gonna take another med pack. And then Karth, you don't get a med pack, sorry. Sure. Ouch. Okay, well, let's equip that stuff. Neural band. Plus two to will save. Not usable by Wookiees. Okay, plus two will save. Good. Uh, adrenaline amplifier, plus two to reflex. Alright. Alright, well, I'm sorry we had to kill you, lady, but we had just as much right to be there as you did, so fuck you. Yeah, I'm doing a lot more damage now than I was. I was not, uh, I wasn't equipping my guy properly. But now I am. And look at him now. Now he is a cyber... Get the fuck out of my way, Karth! Yes. Now he's a glowing cyber ninja! Uh -huh. Yes. There you go. Save. All right, I'm gonna take this Jedi and I'm gonna arm him up. Ready? You can't use a shield thingy. Okay. Right. All right. So what were we supposed to do again? We were supposed to go get mission, and she's supposed to help us. Oh, well, fuck these guys. We're getting a lot of parts, so that's cool. Ah, workbench. Good. This is an electronic personal message center. Oh, it's not a workbench. Though it looks like it hasn't been used in some time, there is one unread message on the system. Love this game. Hello, Evelyn! Good morning. Good morning, madam. Read the message. Hey, Elam. How's life on Taurus? I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? Let's read more. I hope you're still practicing with that blaster I gave you. Remember what I taught you, because you might need it. Taurus isn't like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Step away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's going to be busting into that thing. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> Hope to hear from you soon. Uncle Louie. Well, sorry, Uncle Louie, but we're going to be busting into this thing. But I'm going to save first because it looks like this thing's got a bomb. Hello, good morning, my friend. The strong box is of particularly sturdy construction. The lock is computerized is a computerized touch panel that uses a password entry system. Because this box is an older off-planet model, there is no interface for you to try and slice the system. You'll have to figure out the password if you want to get inside. Huh. Try to enter the password. This strong box is the property of Elimatic. Access not permitted to unauthorized users. Okay. Let's Please enter the proper password responses to confirm identity. What is the name of your pet? Okay. Okay, so I have to learn about... 
Okay, leave it alone. Who is it? Elamatic? Elamatic. I have to learn about Elamatic. Leave the strong box alone. Okay, we'll come back to this. Yes. And I'm poisoned. Shit. I've gone and got myself poisoned. And I don't have any more med packs. And I'm dying. Okay, how about we load the last game before we try to get into that shit? The letter is the clue? Ah. One or more of the passwords. Oh, I didn't do it right. Okay, hold on. Okay, his pet's name is Hyperdrive. Oh, he's from Alderan. Okay. Okay, his pet's name's Hyperdrive, his Uncle Tom the thing, and he's from Alderaan. Yay! Oh, I got a lot of experience, alright. Thanks, Evelyn. Look at that. Ooh! Nice. And my... And my, uh... My energy shield protected me from the poison. Alright, we're gonna save there. Thanks, Evelyn! We already break into this one. Yeah. Okay. Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him and see if you can get him to open up about it. All right, yes, let's talk to him. In your mind. Is this a good? Uh, is this a good time to ask you some more questions? I guess I did say you could ask me questions later, didn't I? Is this really necessary? Not if you have a problem with it. No, no, I don't have a problem with it, really. Go ahead and interrogate me. <laughs> Excellent. Soon all your secrets will be mine. I'm not going to say that. This isn't an interrogation. I never said that. No, I was just joking. Though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather refreshing, to be honest. Weiner. <laughs> I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened from your perspective. Will I be playing the whole game on here? Yes. Like you said, w when we first met, Basila didn't have time to use her powers. I wasn't in a position to know what was going on, really. Yeah, that's, that's... Neither was I, to tell the truth. I was on board as an advisor for the most part. The battle began so fast, it's anyone's guess as to what actually happened. We lost the ship and a lot of good people. And for what? In the hope that the Jedi powers would save us somehow? Not that Bastila had much of an opportunity to act. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. 
Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet anyway? I'm just a soldier. I'm sure there isn't anything unusual about that, is there? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. What's so odd about me being added to the crew at the last minute? You were the only one. Not to mention that Basilis' party was the one who requested your transfer. I have no idea what you're talking about. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board. I mean, hell, they practically took over the ship as far as I can tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi. But whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong. And this is probably nothing, I know. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. Uh, let's see. Awesome. The top choices tend to make the character like you more. Ah, okay. Uh, but the other questions are fun sometimes. Karth has serious trust issues and PTSD. Yes, are you going evil or good? I'm going to go wherever... I'm just going to make the decisions that I feel I would make in the moment, and wherever that takes me is wherever it takes me. I'm telling you, Karth, I had nothing to do with the crash. I expect you're right. I've got no real reason to suspect you of anything. Still, it's better to be safe than sorry, right? You know we're on the same side, right? Look, it has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone. And I have my reasons. And no, I'm not going to discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? I consider this important. All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. You know that? We'll talk about it, but later. Right now, I just want to get going. All right. All right, let's get out of this apartment building. All right, let's go get mission. sound oh. oh I never mind get the fuck out of my way that's what's on my mind uh, we're gonna need some we're gonna need some med kits here boy looking forward to the rise of Skywalker I'm seeing it uh, day after tomorrow yes indeed Okay, I can't fuck with that blaster turret. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with official Sith business are allowed into the Undercity. Unless you've got the proper security papers, you better just turn around and go back the way you came. You go for all he's asking to look for my papers. I've got my security papers right here. Yeah. yeah these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you, though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. <laughs> Rack go down no I'm not going down on you sorry oh you meant down to the sewers oh I don't I don't know why I, I don't know why I interpreted it that way na 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 you there upworlder anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll yeah this is our elevator if you use it you gotta give us something 
I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Hmm. Five credits. That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits. This is a public elevator. I'm not paying. I'm not I'm not paying your fucking toll. Please have pity on us. We have nothing. Oh, we Shut have up. Uh, no. Forget it. You're getting nothing from me. Fuck you. Have you no heart? Have you no compassion? Shut up. My brother, let us go. We will get nothing from this selfish upworlder. Go on, you two. Get out of here. I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Calico Vision. Who are you? My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've, I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say it there? The surface is a beautiful place. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, Tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Luke used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Heartless. <laughs> They're just poor zombie fodder. You know, if I had gotten out of that elevator and they had just asked me for some money, I probably would have given it to them. But don't stand there and say, yes, it's a toll elevator. You pay us money if it will fucking threaten me. Threaten me, motherfucker. i fucking kill you, man. Uh, Rukil, who's that? Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Ah, oh, God, I am so tempted to say I don't have time for this, because I actually don't. Promised Land, what's that? It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. I really don't. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. He's over 100 years old. He's over 100 years old. Children Jesus. laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. They aren't smart either. They're lucky you don't blast them. Who do they think they... Who do they think would come down there? <laughs> yeah, no shit. Okay. I'll be going now. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the Upworld. I'm Rukil. I'm over a hundred years old. I tell you about the Promised Land. It means so much to an old pervert like me. When I dream of myself... Okay, I'm not going to do that voice for too long. Uh, oh, there's Gendar. Okay. Okay, I was supposed to speak to that guy, right? Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. I find it strange that so many of you have come down from the surface recently. No offense, but I can see why people normally avoid this place. Why have you come into this dark and sunless place? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. Why, you son of a bitch? How dare you talk about my home that way? I'll fuck you up, motherfucker. Who are you people? Why do you live here in the inner city? You said something about them. You said something about other upworlders who came by here recently. Final answer. Our village has seen many visitors from the surface recently. Armored troops, swoop gang members, mercenaries. 
They come to search our sunless world. They're even searching the sewers. Give the people hope for a place that likely doesn't exist. Light side, tell them the truth and break their full dreams. Dark side. I actually agree with the. Uh, excuse me. I actually disagree with that. Uh, that correspondence. I, I think that telling the truth is uh, virtuous. As long as you don't do it in such a way that smashes their hopes all to pieces. If you did it in such a way like, um, hey, you know, the promised land doesn't really exist, but, you know, life can be really good or whatever. I like the voice in short amounts. <laughs> oh, thank you, young woman. I'll try to keep it in short amounts. Sorry. I'm looking for a Twi'lek named Mission. Yes, I have seen this Twi'lek many times, though I've never spoken to her. She and her Wookiee companion often pass through our village on their way to explore the sewers. How can I get to the sewers? There are two entrances into the sewers from the Undercity. One to the northeast of our village, the other to the southeast. But the sewers are dangerous, Upworlder. If you dare to travel those dark tunnels, you would be wise to go heavily armed, unless you wish to become a meal for the rock ghouls and the other foul creatures. Okay. As you wish, Upworlder. Got it. Should you have need of anything else, come speak. Okay, thanks. I might have to get going pretty quick here. I'm thinking of. Uh, oh. You ain't from the village. You're from the Upworld, ain't you? Yes. You've got credits, I bet. Yeah, I do. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Okay, let me see what you got. Yeah, it ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. Okay, I can deal with you. Okay, let's get some med packs. Yeah. Chani battle armor. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Vibro blade just sounds dirty. I'm sorry. I'm five. Uh, quarter staff one to six. Twenty twenty. How much is it? Item cost one. Yeah, I'll take a quarter staff. Uh, what does Karts blaster do? I can't even remember. Okay. Get a scope. Yeah. Vibrations, <laughs> vibration cell. Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Show cell list. Yeah, let's sell some shit. Oh, I didn't even put on the new armor. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so the short stored, we'll sell those shock sticks, because 2 to 5 critical threat. Actually, no, I should be using that as my offhand weapon. Sell a vibro blade. Uh, I'll sell my combat suit, because I'm not going to need it. Sell a couple of blasters. Have you ever watched SF Debris playthrough of the Old Republic? It's funny. We'll get you light or dark side points in these games. I love the games, but it's funny. Uh, uh, I have not seen it. I know that he um, I know that he uh, did that, and I think it's really cool. I, I do plan to watch it one day. There was a vi <laughs> vibroblated one in one of the Mandalorian episodes. Ah, I've only seen the first one, and I really liked it. Or the first episode. I th actually, I think I saw part of the second one too. It's hard for me to it's hard for me to sit down and and watch shows of late. But uh, here, let me see what Cart's got real quick. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Ah. All right. What's he got? Cart's blasters. Two to seven. It's balanced. Okay, his blaster's good. His other one is just a regular old blaster. Blaster pistol. Okay. Okay. 
Let's give him an energy shield. I should have kept that combat suit for him. I'm gonna put it on. Oh. Oh, I do have it. Okay, good. Now you can you can put it on, Karth. You get your ham get my hand me downs just like last time. Okay. Sure. Now I'm gonna buy from you again. Hey there, upworlder. You want to see what I got for sale in my inventory? Or yeah, it ain't the best stuff. Mostly salvage and such, but the price is right. I know that is. I don't have a lot of shows I watch either. Yeah, this is an unfortunate, uh, unfortunate uh, time issue. Okay, let's sell all our clothes. I should be using this prototype vibroblade and an and the stun thing as my offhand. That's what I should be doing. I might blaster rifle, blaster pistol, I might sell one to eight, one to four, one to six. I'm gonna sell I'm gonna sell the right the I'm gonna sell the the rifles. Okay, and I'm going to equip the prototype vibroblade, and <laughs> I got a prototype vibroblade for you. <laughs> and the shocks. Oh, it's not an offhand, is it? Is it not? Is it not? You cannot equip this weapon while an incompatible weapon is equipped in your other hand. Okay, what if I equip this? Is that, wait, is the shock stick one-handed? Or two-handed, rather? Ever watch The Good Place currently? The Good Place and The Mandalorian are about it for me. Uh, no. No, is it good? Okay. Let's let's have nothing. Let's have nothing equipped. Now what now what are you gonna do? Okay, shock stick, good. Now what can I equip? I cannot equip a second weapon with the shock stick. Alright, we're selling that motherfucker. Long sword. Balance, okay. Plus two plus zero. Okay, long sword vibro blade. Or can we do Prototype Vibroblade, Vibroblade. Yes, we can! Okay, so we got some stun potential now. Let me just see. Oh no, we don't have... St 1 to 10, plus 1 physical damage bonus. Plus 2, plus 0 versus 2 weapon penalty if used in the offhand. Okay then that should definitely be okay then that should definitely be the uh, just the offhand weapon 1 to 12 yeah yep yep that's a good combo all right and then Karth you should have that scope right i don't know why he can't use that scope okay Okay. Save. If you have a chance, you should binge watch, binge watch The Good Place sometime. It's funny, but it also discusses ethics in a way a normal person can understand it. Oh, that sounds that sounds like it's right up my alley. I'll I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Oh, you know what? Now that we have all this money here, let's heal, let's heal up full or close to full. Whoops! What? 
I know, let's buy some. Hey there, upworld. Buy some consumables. Shut up. All right. We got health packs of plenty now. Wait, Upworlder. You can't go through this gate. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. <laughs> For your own sake, turn back. There is too much danger and suffering beyond. Danger and suffering? What are you talking about? The villagers infected with the Rakgul disease are quarantined beyond this gate. It's only a matter of time until they transform into horrible creatures that would destroy us all. So you just lock them away in a cage? For the sake of the village, we have to keep the infected ones locked away. And when they finally do transform into Rakguls, we'll let them destroy each other. Hmm... I want to ask you some questions. No, I don't really. There must be something someone can do. I'm going through the gates to try and help the infected. There must be something someone can do. Nothing can be done for the infected villagers. Even the serum to counteract the Rakgul disease wouldn't be any use now. Nobody would be foolish enough to risk going into the pens to give them the cure. The infected ones could transform into Rakguls and attack them at any moment. So you just leave the infected ones to die? You're a coward. No, I'm going through to try to help them. Yeah, I'll go through to try I to help them. I can't stop you from going through the gates, Upworlder. But if the infected <sighs> ones have already transformed into Rutgals, you'll be walking into your grave. Nah, I'll be fine. Shut up. Shut up. I'll be fine. Please, help us. We're infected with the Rutgal disease. At any moment we could... Uh, no! This cannot be... No! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Damn, that was a hard fight. Goddamn Ragul disease. The premise is a woman who knows she isn't a good person ends up in the good place. Heaven by mistake and must learn to be a good person so she can keep her place there. Uh, that's really interesting. You can never save those people. Nope. Nope. They're done. Alright. You guys got anything on you? You know what I might do? You know what I might do? I might just, uh... I might just undo that whole thing. Oh boy. Alright. 
We got, we got all our, yep, got our 10 med kits and all that shit. Hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Damn. Run, Hendar, run! Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The Rakuls are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the Rakuls are so near! Open the gate. I'll kill the rag ghouls. You'd risk your life first. Yes. I'll open the gate. Yes. Yes. Let's just do this. All right, so here we are, killing some rag ghouls. I'm gonna take off, cause I'm gonna try to get a nap in here. I'm gonna take off. I will, uh, I will return to this soon, probably tonight. So until then, I will see you guys later. Have a great day, and may the force be with you.